why is my Gorilla wheelbarrow upside down? Well, you might recall a few weeks ago, I reviewed this wheelbarrow. Unloading the wheelbarrow is as simple as just lifting up on the handle, putting it over, and then using the lower handles to shake it out. And my one concern with it was the 16 inch pneumatic tire. The only downside is the fact that it's a pneumatic wheel and you'll have to maintain air pressure. My fear is that at some point it'll get punctured, it'll go flat, then I'll have to deal with either replacing it or fixing it. And I had wished that it came with a no flat tire. Well, today, thanks to the Home Depot Seeds program, we have a 16 inch flat free universal wheelbarrow tire from Gorilla. And despite not having any instructions with the wheelbarrow or with the tire, we're still going to swap this pneumatic tire out. In the kit, you get a 16 inch tire with wheel. It's universal. It has oil impregnated bushings and no instructions. So we're on our own to figure this out. Looking at the unit, on one side we see that there's a pin that appears to go through the shaft of the wheel. On the other side, we have a pin that pulls out. And I bet once we pull that pin out, that shaft will release. So let's find out. We've removed the shipping strap. That gives you a, a cap that you just take off. There's already the oil impregnated sleeve. There are a couple of these. So depending on the size of your axle. And if we take this one and compare it to our old tire, we see that this one's just a bit too large. So this is probably the correct size that's in there. Let's see, any instructions on the back side of this cardboard? No. So, we take our wheel and tire. It's solid, so it doesn't quite have the bounce as the pneumatic does, but then again, it's not gonna have the issue with going flat. And if we compare the two, it looks like this might be just a little fatter, the tire. But the nice thing about the pneumatic is that it tends to bounce over obstacles. So when you hit something, it absorbs the impact and tends to roll over. Whereas this will be more of a thud. Um, but then again, the advantages of this is that it'll never go flat. Whereas this one will either lose air at some point or go flat and you'll have to deal with that because flats never happen at a convenient time. So I put on some gloves just so that I don't get dirt all over myself. I'm just gonna pull on the pin. The pin comes out, set this aside. Let's see. I'm just pushing with my finger now if we take a look on the other side, we see that the pin has come through. So I'm gonna grab the tire, pull the pin the rest of the way out. That releases the wheel tire. I'm gonna set this rod on the side. And now it looks like we can install our non-flat tire. We bring in our non-flat tire. We align it. We grab our rod, we push it through, send it through the bearing, and hopefully it'll come through on the other side. Now note that this is a direct replacement for the 16 inch tire, so you won't have to swap out the bearing on this. Push the rod all the way through, and then we'll go back to the other side to get the pin in. As you slide the axle through, uh, there is a hole that you'll have to line up so that when you need to put the pin in to secure it in place, it has a hole to go into. There you see the hole. Make sure that lines up. With the hole lined up, we take our pin, and it really doesn't matter if you go in this way or from the backside, you just put it in 
and push it through until you go through the, you want it to catch here in the center. So you'll go past this pinch point, get it here, and that's where you stop. You don't need to go past this pinch point. So again, we just push it through and we're ready to roll again. Navigating with the no flat tire is really no different than the pneumatic, except things are just a, a little bumpy. If you found this video interesting or useful, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, give us a spin and join the subscription team. And as always, thank you ever so much for watching.